Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Look, it's a pillow vlog. I have rearranged this room that I'm in, and when I used to do pillow vlogs with you guys, I used to lay on a bed that was facing the scary stairs. That's what we call them, the scary stairs. Now, that bed is at another wall, and I have a couch, like, well, it's bigger than a love seat. It's a couch, not the couch I sleep on. But I like the position of this couch and behind it now I have the big desk that I brought downstairs that I told you guys about. So I will be doing a house tour eventually. It's almost ready to be seen. I can't even believe it. At least the living area. I'm not showing you upstairs yet. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would just throw myself on the couch and go over my schedule with you guys for whoever is interested in that. I have been saying forever that I wanted to do that. I knew it would only be after Skylar left because this particular schedule only officially started today and I've been busy because my mom's in the hospital. But because I am good at following a schedule, I was able to do everything that's on my must do except I didn't check the mail. Do you know that I actually have had on my schedule forever check the mail because I hate to check my mail. I just have a thing about mail. It, I find it very intrusive. I know it's weird. I've got videos about it. <laughs> so if I don't remind myself to check the mail, it will go weeks without getting touched. Here's the thing. This is what my schedule looks like. It's just something that I make up and I have X's and when I complete a project, I cross it off. And this particular schedule now is adapted to YouTube and I have a section up here where I have to do things on certain days. Some of the things are every day. And then down below it's more flexible. I have uh, certain things that need to be done per week, per month, when I can. And then I have a column just for ideas. So when I come up with video ideas, I can jot them down and then add them to the schedule for the next week and cross them off as I can. So let's just go by the daily ones first. I start my week on Mondays. I do a daily update on YouTube. Do you know I started that I think in April? Never missed one yet. So that's daily. I also do a daily chat on my blog for those who do not do YouTube. And it's pretty much, you know, just the same kind of thing. I just say what I uploaded for videos the night before, what I plan on doing that day, any shout-outs I might have for other videos, things like that. And then I do a post of free ebooks that I've been posting for a very long time. There's another blogger, Seamom Click, who does a free ebooks list every day for 10 free ebooks from Amazon. And I hooked up with her long ago and use her list in exchange for linking back to her on the blog post, which I gladly do. And I will gladly say now to her name is Lindsay at CMOM Click. Very, very nice. I appreciate her lists. And that is just something I like to offer my, my blog followers and those who follow me on Facebook. I think there was more interest in it when I had my couponers. They seemed to really like that, but I'm still going to offer it for those of you out there who still like that. And then I have on my list sidebars, and I have that scheduled for Tuesdays and Saturdays for right now. And what that means is on my blog at DarleneMishu.com, I like to promote videos on the sidebars. The left side are my videos. The right side are shout out videos and those are videos that I've watched or from peanut gallery members that I've gotten close to and or just other videos that I like. So I just like to have videos on my sidebars and I'm going to try to update those twice a week. Then for my coupon business, because I still do some of that and depending on how things go, you know, I keep dabbling with the idea of increasing that again because... The money was really good, and then it got, like, it was just going downhill. But, you know, sometimes it's hard to walk away from, you know, even half of what I was making is still very good. But so, um, but the thing is, is I'm so focused on YouTube that I lost my love for anything to do with coupons. But anyway, long story short is I never really gave up it completely. 
and it's possible down the road I may do a little bit more of that, but I'll never go back to doing the coupons and the deals and the Shaw's flyer and all that. That's, that's all gone bye-bye. But what I am doing for that uh, daily is I'm going to try to post on my blog simplyshaws.com. I also have that blog. I like to try to do the top 10 coupons, brand new coupons, coupons ending soon, and then the Red Plum and Smart Source, those are on Tuesday and Friday. Hot Doublers and Betty Crocker coupons that come out on Thursdays. So that's what I'm still doing for the coupon world. Then I actually have trash on Tuesday nights. I have to put the trash out just in case I forget. You know, every day is like the same to me, so I can easily forget that it's trash night. Check snail mail, <laughs> I already said that, and then checking accounts like my bank and my credit card. I pay my credit card off in full every week, so I never pay interest, and then put my money in various savings accounts that I have. I do that every week on Friday. Okay, now for the video stuff. Here's the stuff that I plan on doing weekly. Random facts. I want to get back to that. I knew all these things would stop when Skyla was here, but I was doing random facts. You guys seemed to like those, so I would like to do that once a week. Speedy Darlene. I would like to do some little cleanup, you know, in fast speed. Not only because it makes a fun video to edit, but because I get something clean. So that would be cool. Pet montage. I'd like to do that once a week at least. I really like the pet montages. I get a lot of images for that. So the interest is at least there for sending me images. So I never run out of images. And whenever I say to you guys, hey, you can send more images. Everybody does. I love it. So that really goes good. I, it just gives me something relaxing that I like to edit. I think you guys know this because I have said it a bunch of times. So I'd like to do that at least once a week. Uh, tag along at least once a week. I don't care what store it is. I just want to get you out in the car with me. And I still do want to get a dashboard camera so I can actually aim the camera out. You know, show you guys around town. Or while I'm driving, aim it to me. And I can just chat with you while I'm driving. So I've got to get on the ball with that. Blast from the past. I was enjoying doing that too because it was even fun for me to go back to an old video. And then, you know, I would just do a little intro and let you know I had a video that I wanted you to see and why and when it was done and whatever. And then I just link to that old video. And that's a really cool way to get new views on an old video. You know, it's just like I said, again, it's interesting for me to see where I was, what I'm doing now. And now I've been doing so many videos that, you know, like when it comes around to next March, it'll be a whole year that I was doing YouTube full time. There'll be a lot of different videos that I can look back at and say, oh, remember when I cut my hair like that or whatever. So I like that concoctions. I want to do at least one concoction per week. Now that doesn't mean I'll do only one, but these are things that I want to accomplish at least once a week. And if it gets crossed off, then that's good. If I can do more than one, that's even better. Showing food. Sometimes I like to just show food like I've done before, like I had showed um, the can of the Asian stir fry vegetables or whatever. And sometimes that's fun because it gives me a chance to find something that I've never used before and just open it, look at it, I'll tell you about it, and then I can use it in a concoction for a future video. But, you know, I can turn it into two videos that way. YouTube tips, definitely want to do that. Want to do at least one a week. Craft channel, I have that that I'd like to aim for twice a week, but I'll be okay with once a week. But I'm going to aim for twice. Same with growing up crazy. Once a week, I'd like twice a week. If there's more there's more. But, you know, this is a lot of videos, so I have to, like, not go overboard. And then the new thing that I've just started doing, which actually falls under montages, is the videos that I watched. I also do that on my blog at darlingmishu.com. I try to do that daily if I've watched some videos because I don't want to let the videos add up because then it's a lot all at once. But as for putting a montage, I may just do that like a couple times a week unless I happen to watch something that I really want to let you guys know about. In that case, I might do it. Uh, so far, I still like doing that and, you know, I might rethink it down the road. 
Okay, per month, I have down Darlene and Sandy. I would like for Sandy and I to do at least one video a month where we're together on screen. And if she wants to also record at that same time and edit it her way or do a different one, that's up to her. But I would like on my channel at least one a month of Darlene and Sandy. And then it gets us together. Uh, reading comments. I know I used to do that quite, and I would like to get back to it. It's usually just a matter of time and I really have to be in a certain mood to do that. And the mood isn't always there, but I've got it down. I will aim for at least once a month. Uh, just vlog spots. That's silly because just about everything I do is a vlog. I mean, I just basically talk to you guys and that's what a vlog is. But, you know, sometimes just doing something like this, just sitting and chatting with you. So that's at least once a month. Pillow vlog at least once a month. I would like to just kick back like this and chat with you guys with a pillow under my head. YouTube inspiration. I That kind of mixes in with YouTube tips. But, you know, I would like to do a weekly YouTube tip. And then YouTube inspiration is a little bit more elaborate. And so at least once a month I would like to do that. Cleaning junk. This would not be like a speed cleaning, but I really enjoyed it that time that I went through a junk drawer or cleaning my purse or just anything like that. And just, again, it's a way to just sit and chat with you guys while I get something accomplished. Other montages, like I did the child's art montage, and I know there's been a lot of interest expressed in doing a peanut gallery montage, just pictures of people from the peanut gallery, and also crafts that grown-ups do, or crafts or hobbies or whatever. So, all in time, we will talk about these things. Craft vlog is where it's not really something that would go on my craft channel, because it's not really like I'm teaching crafts, or showing how to do a craft. It's more that sometimes I just want to show you guys stuff that I've made. Like I want to show you some of my quilt blocks. But you know what? That should go on the craft channel. That really should. And, you know, I'm getting more of an audience there. And there's nothing wrong with having a craft channel and just showing crafts. I don't, it doesn't have to always be a tutorial. Earnings update for the first of the month and then earnings update middle of the month. I was going to condense that to just once a month, but a lot of people have said they really like that kind of video, so I will continue to do it twice a month. That's my for my YouTube earnings where I tell you guys how the month has gone or the first two weeks of the month and I show you my analytics and all that stuff. Then, when I can, Sometimes I find some good little freebies that I can tell you guys about or hair videos when I can. It's just crazy, but, but those are the most popular videos on my channel. It's, they're always like in the top videos for the month. Uh, question and answer, I you know can do that every now and then. Nightcaps when I can. I usually do that like if I you know just have something that I really want to tell you guys or if I wasn't able to knock out a video. I usually like to at least say good night and let you guys know there's not an official video. But it's so funny. I'm the only person I know that can do two videos a day, a daily update, and a nightcap and consider it that it was a day without videos, <laughs> even though I uploaded twice. But um, you know what I mean. Graveyards. Obviously, that was not going to be good for me in the summer. But when the fall comes around, I can't even imagine a better time to go walk around the graveyard and show you guys some old stones. And when the leaves turn, I can show you the colorful leaves. So graveyards will come back this fall. Reviews. If I find something I'd like to review, I would be happy to review it. I really, at this point, am not into doing like paid reviews or asking for free product. Because it just seems like a job when you do it that way. However, Courtney from Courtney with Love on YouTube, she does reviews and she gets free product. She's going to start doing some YouTube videos about how you can get involved with that. So as soon as she starts doing that, I will let you guys know. For any of you who are interested in that, you'll want to listen to what she says and do what she does. And we know Courtney. So I trust what she says. 
You know, it's not like these people who say, hey, do this, and you're going to get all this free stuff. No, that doesn't usually work. But I know Courtney enough to know that we can uh, listen to what she says and, and learn from her. She's been doing it for a while. Sneak peeks, I do that when I can. That's usually like if I have a video that I think you guys are going to like. I like to stick a little sneak peek video there. I know a lot of people don't like that because they're just thinking, oh, what a waste. But hey, I like to do it. So if you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> and I have said it before. The reason I like to do it is because I'm so excited when I'm sitting down and I want to edit. You know, if I know there's something that I think you guys want, I want to hurry up and let you know. But it can take hours before the editing is done and the video is up. So a sneak peek, I know you know it's there. And it just makes the editing all that much more fun because I know somebody's out there waiting for it. And then some ideas that I have. And things that people have asked me to do a video on. My camera setup. I would absolutely love to do that because when I started doing videos, I'm telling you the thing that drove me the craziest is that I had no clue how these people were recording on YouTube. I mean, I was like, what kind of camera do I need? How do I do it? What about the lighting? What about this? What about that? And I searched and searched. And I mean, I'm sure there were plenty of videos out there that were simple, but I was coming across videos where, you know, they have these, you know, like studio lighting and, you know, I was like, oh, because I am not one to spend a dime on anything until I know it's something I want to do. In fact, the first videos I did on a camera, be a fly, because I didn't have a camera and I really don't know how to use my phone. I knew I wasn't going to want to use my phone for video. I took my laptop and stuck it in a box with the screen sticking out. I wanted to do a craft and I had the screen over my hands. So I couldn't even like see if my hands were in the picture or anything. The microphone wasn't picking up my voice, but that's how I started because I did not want to spend any money on a camera. So I finally found a video where this girl just sat down and showed that she just had a little camera. And then the ones that were doing overhead shots, I was like, I'm never going to be able to do that. Yeah, I got a tripod, a camera, that's it. I mean, not much of an investment. And many, many people use their phone. I mean, some of the biggest YouTubers out there who have millions of subscribers still use their phone to record the videos. So you don't need to invest in all the stuff. I don't have any kind of studio lighting. I have just regular light bulbs. So I will definitely show you my setups. Oh, everybody wants me to make my mother's microwave pancakes. I've got to get around to that. She just makes pancake batter and puts it in a plate, cooks it, and you take a plate out and you have a pancake in it. Um, iced coffee. I did it. Oh my God, that has been on this list for so long. Yay, I can cross that one out. And then quilt blocks. I wanted to show some of the quilt blocks I've made. I've always wanted to show you guys the necklaces that my mother has made with the beads that I make. Because everybody's like, what do you do with the beads? What do you do with the beads? And I don't care to make the jewelry. My mother loves to make the necklaces and put the beads together. So I just wanted to show you some of that so you can see how pretty they look when they're in a necklace. Oh, and another thing I thought of is I would like to sometimes ask you guys, especially you guys in other countries, but even in the U.S., we have a lot of different ways that people eat. I would like some of you sometimes to tell me something that you eat that would be unusual, and then I would try to recreate it. That might be something we could do. And also, a reverse Q&A. I think it would be fun that sometimes I ask a question or two and let you guys answer it in the comments, and then I can do a reading comments video and share everybody's answers. So that might be fun. That's what I have right now. Sounds like a full plate, doesn't it? So I just thought I would let you guys know that's the plan. And if you think I've missed something on here, leave a comment, let me know. I'll be glad to add to this, or there's always going to be things that come off this that I end up not liking or whatever. If I find that I look at something and say, oh, do I really have to do that this week? I'll end up just taking it off because my work, I need to enjoy it or I don't want to do it. I never want this to feel like a job. 
Okay, I think I've talked enough. I hope um, you guys stick with me. Thank you so much. Bye.